Hi friends, it's Peggy Noe from PrettyPaperCards.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I'm here with my little Yorkshire Terrier, Ellie. Welcome, welcome. I'm just going to check here and see if we're live. Um, Got to check everything and make sure it's, make sure we're going, make sure we're cooking, huh? Okay, I have to do it a little differently these days, but let's see. Um, whoops, whoops, whoops. Come on back. Okay, here we go. There we are. Okay, we're live. Welcome. Now let me get my comments going. And it's so nice to see you all today, my Facebook people, my YouTube people. So great to see you. Happy, happy Friday. Tammy, happy Friday to you. So good to see you. Um, our weather here has been cool today and drizzly. We've had a drizzly day. Um, let me just check. Okay. Um, and it might even rain tomorrow and on Sunday. So, but I know the rest of the country is having a lot of rainy, springy rain weather. And um, Cheryl, good to see you. Thank you for popping on. I think maybe you're from YouTube. I'm thinking that's what the, the red, um, when your name appears in red, I think it might be a YouTube comment. So let me know, Cheryl, are you on YouTube? Yes, I love it when my YouTube people pop over. How are you, baby? Oh, she's just, she's, she knows she's doing her afternoon sleepy time thing. Tammy has her grand dog for a few days. Tammy's grand dog is much bigger than, than my dog. Tammy has a very large grand dog. And that dog has to be taken for walks and all kinds of stuff. Thank you, Cheryl. She does look cute today. She's been running around outside with her dad and um, having fun. I'll put her over here. Roz, happy Friday. I hope you had a great birthday the other day. Um, and maybe, maybe it's continuing. Um, Diane, good to see you, Diane. Um, could somebody confirm, Diane, now, are you on YouTube or are you on uh, Facebook? I'm trying to figure out about the, the red, when your name appears in red. I'm trying to figure out, with my new system, um, Cheryl. Okay, so that's what I thought. So the YouTube people are in red. So that helps me out. Thank you so much for letting me know. I love it when I have both, now that I have all of you together. I see the YouTube people, I see the comments from the Facebook people all at the same time. I just love it. It's much handier and it makes me feel like I'm closer to you guys. Yeah. So what are you all doing this weekend? Um, what am I doing? What are we doing this weekend, Ellie? Um, well, I have to teach a class at church. So that's one thing and I'm going to be studying for it tomorrow. Um, so I've got a little studying to do, and then I'm going to go out to, to lunch on Sunday, so that's always exciting, lunch with friends. So tomorrow I'll probably be making cards and doing a bit, bit of studying to teach my class. Okay, let's see. That red is just hard for me to see. Kath Kathleen Dunbar, good to see you. Thank you. Um, and Polly from North Carolina. There's my, one of my North Carolina gals. You can let me know where you're popping in from and you can tell me how your weather is and what you're going to do. Yes, Roz, you're in red. Thank you for checking that out for me. Yes, <laughs> you're in red <laughs> on my new pink iPad. But it's just a little bit harder at a distance to see the red. The blue shines really brightly. But I don't know if I can change that color. Diane, 94 degrees in C Cave Creek, Arizona. Wow, you guys are warm. You don't have the, the clouds that we have. I wonder if you'll get them maybe over the weekend, if it'll move uh, east toward your direction. We were warm. We had, we were 88 on our patio yesterday. Diane, yes, you're on YouTube. Roz, 
Roz, my son and family are coming over tomorrow and the kids want to swim. But we set up a sprinkler. I remember doing that totally. Peggy Barker from, from C. Good to see you. I don't know what from C means, but um, thank you for popping on. It's very good to see another Peggy. We always, there's always something going on with those Peggies, right? We're like together. Um, so yeah, so it'll, it should be a nice weekend, you know, no holidays or anything. It's been hot there for you, Roz in Florida. Yeah. I think if it weren't for the storms coming through, it would be warm all over, right? <laughs> but we need the rain and oh goodness, things are just starting to really bloom here in the San Diego County because we've had so much, so much rain for us. So it's been, it's been really nice. Um, well, let's talk about a few announcements and things that are going on. We've got, you all know about the last chance sale. Um, it's on now through April 30th. And I'm, we're going to use another sale item today. But one thing I want to tell you is quite a bit is selling out. Um, the retiring uh, in colors, it looked to me when I looked like all of the ink refills are sold out on those. Um, there are quite a few sale items that are sold out. Uh, stamp sets, some stamp sets are sold out. Some of those things that are discontinuing. Oh, Colorado. And you have a cat on your lap. How wonderful. Well, guess what? You're going to like today's card. I'm just going to say that for so just so far. Okay. Um, so like three by three white envelopes are gone. I think it said um, the 12 by 12, maybe very vanilla or something is out. Quite a few of those basics that are actually retiring and being discontinued are already sold out. So that is something to really know. Julia, good to see you. How are you doing? Um, Diane, you got hacked on your Facebook a while back? Oh my gosh. That's too bad. I oh, I would never want that to happen to my Facebook. I hope that doesn't ever happen. But yes, watch on YouTube because I'm going live. I've been going live to YouTube all this time, but now I can see the comments. So that's great. I'm glad you can do that, Diane. Good. So anyway, just to let you know, retiring basics or pr basics are going up in price. There are some retiring basics discontinued basics like the three by three envelopes the vellum vellum is all sold out but also regular basics are going up a little bit in price starting may 1st i like to keep reminding you so that you get those while you can before the prices go up even if it's, if it's a little bit you still you still want to get them while you can um, new catalog yes i'm going to put ellie down so i can hold the new catalog and she'll be happy that she can that she can get in her bed. Where is my new catalog? Oh my goodness, I just had it here. Hold on. No, no, here it is. Oh my gosh, I thought I misplaced it. Here it is, the wonderful new catalog. I read somewhere, maybe it was one of you guys that told me um, someone's husband saw them reading the new catalog and said, what magazine are you reading? Because he thought it was a magazine because of the very pretty, there we go, the very pretty cover. It does look like a, ma a magazine, doesn't it? It really does. And if you're one of my customers, um, I think you should, I've heard that people have started receiving their um, catalogs that I had sent to you from Stampin' Up. People are starting to receive them, so you should be getting those, which is wonderful. I'm excited for that for you. And if, you're, have, if you haven't ordered from me online in the past year and you'd like a catalog, email me, Peggy at prettypapercards.com. I just sent a few out yesterday. Um, Jeanne, good to see you. Um, so new catalog, May 1st, yippee. Um, and I'll be doing more, more sneak peeks as we get a little closer. It's hard. I have some... I have some, you know, stuff from the new catalog, and it's hard not to use it. I am using it some, but I want to use it all the time. But I'm trying to 
restrict myself. I'm trying to be a good girl and show you what's available so that you're able to get what you need now. Okay, so, so I think one thing that's happening with Ellie is I'm cooking a roast for dinner, a big roast in the crock pot. And I think she's smelling that roast. She's, she's a little anxious over there. Like she wants to, wants to be let go. Who is this? Oh, you miss seeing me on Facebook? It's all the same, Diane. You're watching me live. So I don't know what that means. And she's gotten in this habit of barking a little bit, so that's not good. Okay, um, I have a brand new class to show you guys. My new class to go. And um, it's from a week ago when I was with you, a week ago Friday, I think. We made a card using this stamp set, Pets and More. It is so cute, you guys. I am just nutty about it. I really am. So I had to make a class to go because you know I love dogs and I love cats. I just don't have them because my husband is allergic. So I have a brand new class for you, including the stamp set if you want to add that to your kit. We're going to make six cards. And they are so cute. You know I like to give you sneak peeks here. So this is one because this has cats and dogs and other animals. So this is a kitty cat card. You'll make two of each. This is a combo, a combination card with cats and dogs. Two dogs actually and one cat. And then you're going to make this a little fun fold card with a dog. But you could, you, you could do a cat if you're just a cat person. And it folds out like that. And there's the little dog right on the front. Aren't those cute? And you're going to be getting a half a pack of the tartan foil. The tartan foil is beautiful. This is an online exclusive product, as is the stamp set, which means that you have to find it um, in the online exclusives area of the, um, of the website. Hello, Margaret Gordon. Thank you, Roz. Um, I just am going to try to stop this. Get in your bed. You know you need to get in your bed. Um, and so online exclusive products are not in any catalog. They're only online. And that allows them to um, switch them out and bring us new products faster. So that's what I like about online exclusives is because they can bring new products to us quickly rather than having to wait for a publication so this is these are both online exclusive products that we're going to use in my kit my class to go for um for the end of april this is my second class to go this month we already did one on quiet um, reflections and that was a beautiful class i just got that out so you'll get a half a package of this you'll get a package of the um I think they're called the Basics um, uh, Baker's Twine. Five, five different colors, and they're neutral. So the thing I like about them is you can use them on a lot of projects, but they also, I'm using them on the, on the cards. And then you're going to get a package of clear matte dots, and I've used most of mine, but that'll be your kit. You'll get six, everything to make six cards, half a package of the tartan foil, a full package of the Baker's Pine, a full package of the classic matte dots, and everything to make these six of these cards, along with the tips and tricks video and um, a PDF tutorial for every design, and that's $45. And if you want to get the um, stamp set, pets and more, all you have to do is that I sell it to you just at its flat rate, which is $20 high K. So that would be $65 for the kit and the stamp set. And I don't charge you tax or shipping on the stamp set itself. So that's a little bit of a discount. And if you have pets or love pets or know people who have pets, this is a definite set to get. And it also has what could be an owl or a bird or a parrot, we're not sure and a bunny and, and a fox. I didn't make cards with those because I think the majority of people are gonna, gonna want the cats and dogs. And it has paw, a paw print, a ball, a fish, and a little uh, feeding bowl. So 
email me at peggy at prettypapercards.com if you want to take the class and I'll give you the registration link. And it's only going to be available, let's see, today is the 12th. I think I'll close it out even on uh, probably the 15th because I want to get everything ordered and try to get as much done as I can be before I go on my on my trip at the end of the month. So that's our new class to go and you're going to love it. Um, absolutely, you can order just the PDF tutorials. Those are always $20, um, but you need to use the registration link, which I have to make as soon as I'm done with this. So just email me and let me know you want it. And as soon as I get the link finished tonight, I'll send that to you, Roz. Absolutely. But there's also an, another little caveat to that. Our project today is going to be from a kit and it's going, it's, the kit is called, what we're going to do today, the kit is called the By Your Side Kit. And it's, I think I showed it to you guys. It's the one with cats and dogs. And I have it, and we're going to make some cards from it. Now, the one thing about the Pets and More stamp set, let me just grab it back, is that it doesn't have any sentiments. It's, I'm getting a reflection on that light. It doesn't have any sentiments, it just has images. So what I did for the kit for the kit that you're, you know, the um, my class to go, I'll call it that, is that I used some of the sentiments from this new by your side kit. We're gonna use it, use it today and you'll get to see it totally. But it comes with a little mini stamp set that has um, sentiments for do for well for anything. And you can use any sentiment on your pet card. But this has sentiments that go with dogs and cats, and I'll show you in a bit. So if you buy the Buy Your Side stamp, stamping kit from Stampin' Up, you buy it through my online store, I'm going to send you two extra, not the ones we're doing today, but even more stepped up cards using this kit. And I'm, But what I'm going to send you is the PDF tutorials for those. You'll have the materials, but I'll send you the stepped up PDF tutorial. So it's kind of a, they kind of go together. So if I were you, I would want both items. So, so go to my online shop um, and it's up above for Facebook, down below for YouTube and grab this by your side um, kit that Stampin' Up! produces. I don't want to get it and have to mail it to you because, because it comes in this really nice box. And if you order it on your own through my online store, I will send you two PDF tutorials for stepped up projects for this kit. And then you'll have the ones we're going to do today. We're doing two stepped up tutorials. So let me um, turn you down. Okay. So there we are. And then let me I've got my, trying to get my little system going. Okay, hold on. I'm trying. Okay. Uh, let's see. Okay. I just have to be patient. Hold on. Okay. I'm still not getting it. I practiced this the other day. It takes me a minute. Okay, well, we're going to go on, and I will keep trying to... Okay, wait a minute. Maybe I've got it now. Okay, hold on. Okay, there we go. Got it! Yay! Thank you for your patience. Alrighty, here is the By Your Side kit. Stampin' Up! has committed to come out with two new kits per month. They're about $20 to $25. Um, and I can't remember, I think this one might be $25. I'm not sure. And everything you need is in the kit. And a, a flyer, a brochure with exactly how to make everything. We're going to make some stepped up versions, but I thought I would open this and take everything out so you can actually see. So here you go. First of all, you get, you get a lot, well, you get the stamp set. Now I've taken quite a few of the stamps off because we're going to use them today. So this is the little stamp set. And this is 
kind of if you're a new stamper you don't and you don't have a block there's a little block in here we don't need that most of us um, have our own blocks you get a, a little page of Stampin' Dimensionals, which we're going to use. I'll put that right there. You get a little ink spot. This one is Old Olive. I'm going to use my full pad today and keep this uh, possibly to give out to someone later. So I'll put that over to the side. And I'm just going to check and make sure we're live and everything is going well because I'm not really seeing any comments. So let me confirm. Okay, we are. We're here. Good, good, good. good. Um, all right, so you get the block, you get the dimensionals, the stamp set, you get some little, um, in this case, they're gold, sticky gold hearts, very cute, and then you get the cards that you need, and you guys, check this out, these are so nice. Okay, you get four of each, beautiful, full-size cards already with all this on them washed water washed kind of and all of that and a super cute envelope that goes right with it isn't that cute so you get four of those and then you also get four of these with they're di they're just different but similar and an envelope that goes with those the kit is $22 okay thank you Jan they're they're a really great price they're um they're they're easy. If you want to whip something out very quickly, it's easy to do. And then they come with all these already pre-cut um, items that you use, and they tell you how to use them. So you get four of these pre-cut um, squares with a circle punched out, and then you get uh, four of these. That looks like Calypso Coral to me, and the little hearts, I don't know if you can see them, the little hearts punch out. And then here are the four circles from the um, that come out of the squares, and you can use all these on your car cards. And I think you get something like ten of these sentiment strips that already have little black polka dot line underneath. It's a really nice kit. Oh, Colleen, you just ordered it the other day. Excellent. Have you put it together? And then you get this is just too cute. You get these cut out dogs and cats. Okay, here's, you get two dogs and two cats. They don't have an Ellie dog, but they have this guy. I don't, is that, I don't know the name of that breed, but he's so cute. And then they have this little guy. Check out this guy. He's ready to play. And then the two cats, that one is very cute, but this one's my favorite. This little kitty is on his tummy playing with a ball of yarn. Can you see that one? So cute. Aren't these just adorable? So you get all this stuff to make your make eight beautiful cards, and you'll have stuff left over. It all comes in this nice, nice box, like I said, for $22. Um, Colleen, oh, you don't have it yet. Okay. You Oh, a schnauzer. A schnauzer, okay. Yes, I need you guys to tell me what they are because I, and I should look it up. But the thing I loved is their dog and cat. The cats and doggies are so cute. Yes, the critters. And you know, the one class I just finished, Quiet Reflection stamp set, that is in the online exclusives also. It has a beautiful stamp for sorrow about your pet. I'm doing this to show a sentiment. <laughs> Um, for a sorrow about your pet um, passing away. And so, I mean, these dogs are all happy, but I was thinking of these several things that Stampin' Up! is coming out with that have to do with pets. The black one could be the schnauzer. Okay. This could be maybe a bloodhound. Do you think a bloodhound? So anyway, Stampin' Up! is coming out with these things for for pet lovers and I think I think it's good it's a nice very nice thing so I'm going to set all my goodies off to the side except the stamp set well I've already got my uh, stamps on blocks I'll show you what um, what the stamps are and we'll turn it this way so you can I'll lay it down that way you can see we're going to use this one today best friends forever um, 
and there are two paws and I think I finally figured it out this one is bigger little paw little paws and I think that must be the dog and these are more rounded little paws which probably are the kitty cat there's a fish there's a bone um, a sentiment that says you make my heart happy this one says here's to a true friend and this one says, I'll always be by your side. Darling sentiments. And so what I love about this kit from Stampin' Up is that I think it coordinates well with the Pets and More stamp set because the Pets and More stamp set doesn't have any, uh, oh, Basset Hound, good idea. This set doesn't have any sentiments, but these go beautifully with it, I think. And I'm going to use them and... Um, mix them all up and so for my class to go that's what I've done you you know you can find sentiments like this anywhere um, as far as you've probably got stamps that say these things so you you don't necessarily need this to do my class to go but but I did use it and so it's a nice um, it's a nice, they coordinate nicely. And so I'd encourage you, if you want to do my class to go, get this and then you'll get extra PDFs for the kit, this kit, and you'll, the sentiments will work with the class to go. All right. So let's look at what we're going to make today. I did a couple of stepped up cards. So here's the first one. Isn't that cute with this little guy? Bloodhound. Hi, Marsha Long. Good to see you. Bloodhound, Basset Hound. Um, and what I wanted to show you, this is the Dragonfly Punch. I'll turn it that way. And it's 50% off right now. It's only $11. And I thought this little guy looked so cute with some little gold dragon, mini dragonflies right on his nose. It looks like he's looking at them, don't you think? So we're going to make that. And then I combined both a dog and a cat. I combined the black dog and the cat on his back and for a card and added a little bit of baker's or uh, linen thread under there because he's playing with thread isn't that cute so i think both of these are super cute so if you um you can make these with the kit so and you you stamp too on the there's a circle and then you stamp on it so these you can make with the kit and um, just uh, they're just little stepped up versions. So let's get started. Let's make this little one first with the two, the dog and the cat on the card. So this one uses this card. Ellie's growling. I think it's the smell of that roast. I really do. And it uses this little dog and my favorite little cat. And then what else do we need? We need, um, it uses one of the circles and one of the sentiments. Okay, so let's get started. First, I think we're going to, we'll go ahead and put the circle down. And these are easy. These are fun to do with friends who um, are maybe, they have, you can do them with grandchildren. You can do them with some of your friends who might never have stamped before. Um, these are really fun. So I'm going to put this little circle. They give you all dimensionals. Okay, but because I'm layering some things up, I'm going to do a little gluing. So I'm gluing this down. Hold on just a minute. Ellie, get in your bed. Get in your bed. Get in your bed. Get in your bed. Okay, get in there. Okay, we'll see if that works. She just recently started this. I think it's because I made the mistake of letting her go one time. And once you let them, once you do something once, they really remember it. I'm just gonna have a little, a little sip of my sparkling water. Hold on just a second. I have this cherry sparkling water and it's really, really good. Okay, so we've got our circle and now I think what we're gonna do is go ahead and put we're gonna put, well, let me put the little dog on, this little guy, and I'm gonna glue him also. And then I'm gonna stamp a little bit around him. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue right on there, and I'm gonna try to get his tail up to the very top there because um, 
that way I, I figured that out that then I have room for the for the little cat the cute little cat okay so there's the dog and now I can do a little stamping I'm gonna get out the bone and I'm gonna get out my um, old olive ink pad now one thing to notice I think I've Yes, it would be really fun to do with children, Roz. One thing I've I want I've told you before, and I want to remind you: these blocks are being discontinued. This small little one. In fact, I I know one block was already sold out. I'm not sure if it was this one or not. Um, so if you love this block, you might pop over to Stampin' Up and grab one while you can. So I'm going to put two bones over here on this side. I'm going to put one right there and then I'm going to just put one up here like this just to add a little more interest. And then I'm going to put a little fish right down near the dog's mouth <laughs> just to tempt him. He's going to have a little fish right next to him. It's probably a fish toy but let's put a little fish right down there. <laughs> oh goodness, we have fun don't we? Okay, and now let's put our kitty on. Um, I'm, well, actually, I'm going to do the um, linen thread first, but he's the next step. So I'm going to take a little bit of my linen thread, and I decided I'm just going to have some a little bit of linen thread up here above the little um, ball of twine or yarn that he's playing with. Okay, so I'm just going to... Cut a little bit and we're just going to wrap it around our fingers and have it come out there. And I like to just pull it out so it is a, a, a little more um, willing to do what I want it to do. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to make this little circle. And what I'm going to do is um, put this, put these down with Stampin' Dimensionals. So here are the Stampin' Dimensionals that came in our kit. And I'm going to get a couple of them ready, actually, and just stick them on my hand there. Because I like to stick the baker's twine and things like that, I like to stick it down with dimensionals. Because then it has like a dual purpose. And I want it to mostly come up around the kitty. So let's see. It's kind of just, um, you just really play with it, is all I can say. Okay, let's work with this guy and see if we can get this guy to come down here just kind of like that and then I'm going to put the dimensional in the area where the cat is going to be which is going to be right there okay wait a minute there we go okay and then I'm going to pull this one up because I want this to be just a, sticking up a little bit more and put that there okay so we've got our two we've got our two dimensionals on our linen thread is stuck down there it looks like you're Lucy huh Tammy well you'll need this kit then and then you can still move the the thread around a little bit because it's only attached on the ends and get it so it looks like it's coming out up out of the the kitty's tummy kind of like that and then you you're, I'm kind of planning how I'm going to have the cat because I want it to go over these dimensionals. And so let's see. And you have to make sure to leave room for the whole the whole cat. <laughs> these are just too cute. I can't even stand it. Okay, so we've got I've got two dimensionals there. I've got two of them here. And they serve that double purpose of holding the linen thread down as well as, let me push that down harder, as well as um, holding the cap piece down. And so, let's see, I'm just going to put our little kitty right there. And there you just see a little bit of linen thread coming up out around where he's playing. Now we're going to stamp our sentiment. And for this one, we're going to use Best Friends Forever. And I'm going to go ahead and use Black Tuxedo Black Memento ink because it goes, I think, very well with the dog and with this black right here. And this is one of the stamps that comes in the kit. And so we're just going to stamp it right like that. And let me put 
my lid back on. And then what we're going to do is just tuck this up under, and I'm going to go ahead and, well, we can raise this up on dimensionals, I think. Since that's basically what they intend for you to use because they give you a whole wonderful pack of them. Okay, so let's just tuck that under. And there's our first card. And let's get the envelope that goes with it. And let's get, because we like to stamp our envelopes. It is a fun, it really is. Hi, Anne, good to see you. Oh, the internet, yeah. These are just fun because you just get to play with little cats and dogs. And so I'm just going to stamp a dog, or I mean a bone and a fish on the outside. <laughs> and then, of course, you get to stamp the inside this whatever way you want. But this kit, I think, has a cute little stamp set. And I'm going to be keeping it for my to make further cards for my friends who have dogs and cats. So I'm going to put one more fish on there. Kind of like that. Isn't that just cute? So there's our first card. Okay, the stepped up card from the kit. Now let's make the card um, with the little dog having the little butterflies on his nose. I mean, excuse me, dragonflies on his nose. Okay, let's first go ahead and punch out our butterflies. And the paper that I used for this is carrying over. It's called oxidized copper. And it comes in two, if you remember it, it comes in two different um, kind of shades. This one is a little bit petal pinky, and the other one is a little more blue. So I decided to use this one. And this is the um, punch that's 50% off now until May 1st, or while supplies last. So I'm just going to punch out three little dragonflies here. Because I've seen even our little Ellie, a little fly sometimes will land on her nose and it just drives her nuts. And I just thought this would be cute to put on our little, our little dog here. So we're going to start with our card. And now, whoops, that's my sample. Now I'm going to get out the uh, dog paw. And we'll get out some old olive ink. And this is part of the instructions for the card. This is what they kind of show to do, is put a paw up here and a paw down here at the bottom. There you go, before you do anything else. Okay, and then we're going to use one of these um, Calypso coral pieces that has little hearts that pop out, which I think is very clever. And I like because then you can use the little hearts later. So we're going to put this at an angle, kind of like that, up on dimensionals. Just put a few dimensionals. I'm going to put four just to really hold it on there. And they've, you know, they're making this look like a layer, like it's something that we would actually make. Yes, Julia, you have to. <laughs> Thank you, Kay. Hi, Cherie. And so you're just going to angle it. The, the instructions show to just kind of angle this piece right on there like that. And then we want to put our little dog on, our bloodhound or basset hound or hound. It's definitely a hound. We know that much. So we're going to put some dimensionals on the, on the back of him like this. I mean, these are quick cards to make, you guys, because Stampin' Up! has done everything for us. There are days we want to, we want to, you know, really use, do a lot ourselves, and there are other days that it's just fun to do this. So I'm going to put this, the little dog, about right in there. And now we're going to put the little mini dragonflies on his nose, and I'm going to use the mini dimensionals because they fit perfectly um, in the, the very center of the dragonfly. Whoops, get on there little guy. Okay. And then what we're going to do is pull up, bend up the little wings 
and stick him right on the nose of the bloodhound. <laughs> I just think that's so cute. I'll tip it a little bit so you can see the sparkliness of that little dragonfly. Hi, Karen. Good to see you. Um, and then we're just going to put a few other dragonflies around just for fun. You could just use one if you wanted to, but I don't know. In my mind, generally more is better. So I'm going to put one right up in here and bend up his little wings. And then the third one we'll put down in this area. Just like that. Just right down there, okay. And bend up his little wings. Okay, and now all we need to do is stamp the sentiment. Let me get a little sentiment strip here. And we're gonna use the sentiment that says, you make my heart happy. And we're gonna use the old olive ink. And these are just easy to stamp. Um, these stamps just stamp you know, really, you don't need to worry about getting them crooked. They're, they just stamp straight. I, they're great. Sometimes I have trouble with stamps, but these are really easy. So there's You Make My Heart Happy. And we'll just pop that up on dimensionals also. And let's see, we're going to put it right in this area. So I'm thinking one here. And maybe one here because there are different layers right there and so I hope I got it looking right so just cover the little guy's feet just a little bit and then I'm gonna put this heart one of the hearts we punched out and I'm just gonna put that on the sentiment oh my glue kind of dried up a little bit there we go just a teeny dot of glue and put this little this little heart right there. It kind of whoa. It kind of brings everything together. And then here's the envelope for that one. Like it has this cute, the more calypso coral look. And I'm gonna put a little dog paw right in the circle there. Just like that. And then we'll put a dog paw on the inside. Aren't those cute cards? Just quick to make. And I'll just show, put them up here again. So these are just stepped up versions of what you, what you make in the kit. And you get enough to make eight, but you have the stamp set left over. And I just think they're, I just think they're super cute. I'm, I'm going to be using lots of these to send to my friends. And again, I think the stamp set is a great coordination to this. The stamp set that comes in this kit is a great coordination to the Pets and More stamp set because this doesn't come with any sentiments. So I think they're a natural um, go together. So let's see if I can <laughs> bring you up here. There we go. Okay. I forgot for a minute how it works. <laughs> so don't forget about my um, class to go that is using the Pets and More set. And you get lots of other stuff to make six adorable cards. And if you buy the, um, it's called Buy Your Side Kit, the one we use today. If you buy that from my online store, I will send you two PDFs for two more stepped up versions to use with this card kit. And if, if I were you, I would buy the two together because I do think they go well. Okay, we need to do some prizes. So from last Friday, what our prize was, four of my cards, and um, I just grabbed four that we may or may not have made together. There was this one, happy birthday, and they all come with envelopes, and this one using the pretty bird paper, which says hello there. Then we have this one, and this this stamp set is retiring, I think. You know, I, I really am getting a bit confused. 
um, it's hard to keep track. I think once everything really retires, then I'll know what's available. And then this cute one with the little birds, I think we did make that together maybe one time. So all those four together. And our winner is Colleen Ludicky. Colleen, I think maybe I saw you on here. So congratulations. I'll get those out to you for four of my cards. I don't usually give away four in a pack, so. Congratulations, Colleen. Good job. And for next week, the prize is a set of mini Stampin' emboss, um, embossing folders for the mini machine. And it's striped in splatters, and they are retiring. I don't know if they've sold out or not, but I had this extra set, and so I thought I would give it away to you guys. So if you would like to get it's two embossing folders one striped and one splatters that's why it's called striped and splatters so if you'd like to um, be entered to win and i do the random number generator so put the word prize okay you guys have a great weekend thank you so much for